this week we're going to learn how to make a um, Mexican sun. So, in this picture, we have the warm color and the cool colors. So, I made the color theory. And then I want to show you guys what is the warm color and the cool color. And also, what is the primary color, yellow, red, blue. And the secondary color is using the primary color to mix. So, when you mix yellow and red, they turn to... Um, orange and then from uh, yellow to blue they turn green colors and then use red and blue they turn to uh, turn to purple colors that's how we can become the secondary color and then we have the warm colors so start with the um, yellow and go all the way to like the different kind of shades of the yellow to orange to red and those are the warm colors but pink, sometimes the students will ask me, pink is warm or cool? It depends. Some of the pink, they are warm, and some of the pink, they are, they are actually they are more cool colors. So it depends. And then we have the cool colors. So from the left side, the green color, like the yellow green, a little bit grass green, dark greens, and to blue, to purple, to violet, to um, different those uh, purple shading uh, colors they are all cool colors so those are the colors that we're going to use inside our pictures like this okay and then in this picture we're not just using the warm color and the cool colors you can see in the cool side areas we use some uh, warm colors too those are those um uh how to say uh, the contrast the colors so we want to use some uh, complementary colors inside the cool colors in same here the cool warm colors we also use some cool colors too for decorations too mm, in this picture when we start to draw this picture we're gonna use a something like a, maybe like a ball to make a circle first and then we're gonna start making the lines and make decorations. That's much easier than what uh, we have to use our free hands to draw the circle. So I think we're gonna enjoy how to draw this one. And later you're gonna see the video to, uh, to learn how to draw this video, the, the shapes. Mm. So for the complementary colors, it's also contrast colors. So you will see that yellow is purple. So you can see the opposite color from yellow, the opposite color is purple. The red color opposite color is a green color. And you can see the mm, uh, orange color is more like blue colors. Those are the complementary colors. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this class and see you guys next time. So in this picture, you're going to make a circle in the center of your picture. You can use uh, anything to, like a circle to help you make a, like a perfect circle. Remember in the center. And then you're going to do the middle line, like a curve line, look like a nose, like a aim shapes. Look like nose and a mouse. And then you're going to make each side two eyes. One is a sleeping one, just like a curve. Another one is like a regular eyes. Any kind of like uh, eyes, it's okay. You can decide by yourself. And then we're going to try making the mouse part. Uh, <clears throat> and then for the right side, you're going to try to make a lot of lines. So the line is like the sun. So you're going to try to do different directions. And for the left side is the moon side. You can try to make a lot of uh, half circles. Also, you can make some different kind of shapes, patterns. You're going to design it by yourself. Just remember those, those shapes need to be big. Don't make small shapes. No small shapes. Because small shapes is always difficult to color. So you can make a lot of patterns, different things and adding a lot of uh, wave lines, zigzags, uh, stars on the left side because there's a moon side. The sun side, you're going to try to make a lot of like uh, 
different shapes, different patterns, all by yourself. <clears throat> Use your imaginations. Add many things you can, but big ones, no small ones. Okay. So you can see I add a lot of uh, different shapes, but it's pretty big. After we finish those pencil lines, we'll start using the black markers or sharpies, black sharpies, to trace the lines. So there's a tracing part. You can see that you can add eyelashes too. So these are different colors. You can see the from left to right. It's the um, warm color and cool color. So the moon side going to be cool color. The sun side going to be the warm colors. We start coloring the face first. You're gonna coloring um, uh, everything. Use yellow or like orange color. It's all up to you. But remember, don't color the eyes. And don't color the mouse. You can change the different colors. And now we're gonna add in a little bit darker colors on the outlines of the shape. Try to make a blending colors. We always try to blend colors. And now I can try to do the eyes. Any kinds of colors, okay. You can have blue eyes, green eyes, gray eyes. The only thing is from top to the bottom, you're gonna start from dark to light. You can see the eyes has transitions too. The mouse colors and also the blush colors. You can use pink or red color for a little bit blush on the on under the under the eyes. When we start coloring, you always color one color many places first. So that's how you can color faster. You can see I use this red orange to color a lot of places. I skip some some of those and just repeating the same colors first. And then we can add in another colors. You don't need to keep changing colors because you it will slow down your speed. So you can use the colors, just one color to color many things, but different areas. And then some of part you see we're using the transition color now. So for one little area, you can start sh uh, shading from dark to light or light to dark. Use different warm color shadings. So you can see from yellow orange to red or pink orange to red orange. You're gonna start using different colors shadings. Just try your best to blend. If you know, don't know how to blend, it's okay. We just need to practice. And then you can add in more and more, practice more and more. Just remember, keep changing colors. <clears throat> on, the, on this side, you will also see that we use a little bit cool colors too. Like we said in the beginning, we have a, the complementary color. It's also called contrast colors. So inside the warm colors, we try to use some small areas, cool colors to, to do some decorations. Just color any color you like. Make it very colorful and beautiful all by yourself. You can add in more cool colors too if you want. You don't have to copy mine exactly. 
just the main color on the sun side. You're gonna try to use more warm colors, and try to make a little bit blendings too. The coloring part is also need to having some uh, creative, cre um, you can create your own colors, you can mix in a little bit colors too. So we're almost done with the warm color side. When we finish the warm color side, you can see I adding some darker colors, a little bit darker color for some of them. Just making a little bit of shadings. And then we're gonna add the around the shape of the sun, make a little bit darker going inside so it looks like a more 3D. Now move to the moon side, there will be cool colors. So the cool color has blue, different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, green colors, violet colors, purple colors. So you can use any of those colors to create your moon side. You can see I use a little bit light blue, dark blue, and a purple color on the moon's face. And for outside, I use a little bit uh, violet, green colors. I also do some transitions. Each area you make the decorations, try to use different colors. Don't color everything the same color. And I try your best to color everything. Don't leave any white spots, okay? Just try to try your best. Always try your best to color everything. Don't color um, don't leave too much white space. Inside the cool color areas, we also want to add some warm colors too. So it's like a contrast colors. So in the cool set area, we're going to add some warm color as decorations. Use your imaginations to create many different colors by yourself. You can use any any cool colors you want. And but the stars, we're gonna try to use warm colors as we always do. So the star is the yellow color. And also we're gonna use some orange color to color around. Looks like the star is glowing, right? So you can try to do that too. And I will keep con keep um, coloring more and more using cool colors. Those decorations you can use warm colors like the circles, heart. Just keep coloring. Use any color you like. Don't leave any white spot. Okay, try your best to color everything. And then we are almost done with that. This is so cute. I think you guys did a great job. If you're running out of colors, you can use some warm colors for the decorations. Like the little part, you can use some warm colors. Also add some decoration, uh, 
shadings. Now we're going to do the face now. We're going to add in a little bit darker around the face. And checking which part we didn't color yet. Just color everything. And we are done with that. Get some blush on the face. Make some decorations. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it.